Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to add different types of access cards into Honeywell WinPack Access Control software. If you're new here, my name is Alexa, and I'm excited to share my knowledge with you. Access control systems are an essential aspect of security in buildings and facilities, and Honeywell WinPack is a popular software used by many organizations for managing their access control systems. Adding access cards into the system is an important step, and I'll guide you through the process step by step. Whether you're an IT professional, security manager, or just someone interested in access control systems, this video is for you. So, let's dive in and learn how to add different types of access cards into Honeywell WinPack Access Control software. I have three types of cards that I want to add to the WinPack Access Control software, an RFID tag, a Honeywell proximity card, and a MeFair card. You can add more different types of access cards using the same method. However, please make sure that the installed card reader is capable of reading all those types of cards that you want to add. To begin, let's open up the Event Viewer window in WinPack. This can be done by going to the Menu tab, selecting Operations, and then clicking on Events. Here, you'll be able to see all the cards that have been used for access control. First let me try these three cards and see the results if it's acceptable by the software, or not. Now, if you notice that these three cards which I tapped on the reader, showing an invalid card format message, it's likely that the card format isn't configured into WinPack. There are different card formats available in the market, and not all of them are defaultly configured into WinPack. So, how can you configure a new card format into WinPack? The first step is to determine the card format you need. You can find this information by referring to the manufacturer datasheet. However, not all users have access to this information. In this video, we'll be showing you how to configure a universally accepted card format into WinPack. By following these steps, you'll be able to use all types of access cards with WinPack. Navigate to the Configuration menu from the main menu, then select Device and Device Map. A device window will appear. Select the Intelligent Controller Board, right-click, and click on Configuration. A configuration window will appear. Go to Card Formats, then select Format Number 1, and keep it as default. Next, select Format Number 2 and choose Default as the option. Select Default Formats 32-bit Northern. For Format Number 3, change the option to Default, and select 34-bit Northern. Format number 4 should have default as the option and 48-bit corporate 1000 as the format. Format number 5 should have default as the option and 38-bit vegan as the format. For format number 6, select default as the option and format it as 56-bit vegan. Once all the formats are configured, click on OK. If you have any cards that are still not detecting the correct number as per the number printed on the card, change the option to Custom. Then, change the site code bit start and end bits to be modified from 20 to 0. Make sure to follow the same settings for all the intelligent controllers that are installed and configured on your project, even if they use different access cards. This will help ensure that your system is consistent and functioning properly across all devices. It's crucial to maintain uniformity in your settings to avoid any confusion or issues when managing and troubleshooting your system. By following these steps and applying them to all your intelligent controllers, you can ensure a smooth and efficient operation of your access control system. After configuring the different card formats, go back to the Events section and tap the Access Cards on the reader.
You may notice that, even with the same access cards, they have different events, such as card not found. This means that the card formats have been accepted, but we still need to add these cards, in order to get the access granted. To add access cards to win pack, follow these steps. From the main menu, select card. The cards window will appear. Click on the add button to open the adding card window. Type in the card number that appears on the event window and is detected by the reader. Change the status from inactive to active. Click OK to add the new card to the list. By following these steps, you can efficiently add all access cards into the software. Once you've added all the access cards into the software, close the window. Now, let's test all the added card events in the software by tapping the cards at the reader. However, if the cards are not accepted by the software, and you see an error message such as card not found, sub account of card default, this may be because the cards were not loaded into the controller. To solve this issue, the user needs to manually push the added cards into the controller. To do this, follow these steps. Go to Control Map by clicking on its icon from the menu. Right click on the controller and select initialization. The panel initialization options window will appear. Click on the select all button, then click OK to start the initialization process. The initialization will begin and it may take a few seconds to complete. Once the initialization is complete, test the cards again by tapping them on the reader. At this point, access should be granted and the event generated should indicate valid card, as you can see on my screen. And that's it for our tutorial on how to add different access cards formats to WinPack. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Just to recap, we've shown you how to add different access cards formats into the software, and also how to troubleshoot any issues you may encounter during the process. By following these steps, you can easily manage access control for your facility or organization. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.